Looks like it's just a plain white cat, but it's completely blind. It's running into the walls. This is disgusting. That cat I'm really worried about. They're hiding up there in the rafters. Looks like there's one, two, three or four crammed up in there. So far I'm seeing at least a dozen down here buried up in the rafters, so it's going to take some work to get them out of there. So far, looks like we're somewhere around the range of about 50 cats. Pretty much just running loose in this filth. These cats have been living in this feces and urine for, I don't know, years. It's just, I just really just want to help these cats. It's just, it's just an awful, sad situation. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is just horrible for any animal or any human to have to live in. This is, this is a really bad situation. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this much um, animal waste and, and garbage in a house before. There's about 15 to 20 cats underneath this bed. So we're gonna have to be quick and careful. We've... This is my first cat hoarder case and this is a new smell. <laughs> it's, I can't believe there are living beings in this house. The inside, it looks like a bomb went off. There's two or three. Don't put it down. We knew this was going to be, be quite a task for us, uh, both uh, manpower-wise, equipment-wise, and so uh, fortunately we were able to call in uh, the Humane Society of the United States to come assist us with this and, and are so thankful they were able to do that. Yeah, the Humane Society of the United States is, we commit everything just heart and soul to these local organizations and we, we want to be there to help them. We're committed to the state of Tennessee and this is probably the greatest feeling that we can have is to come in here and, and make sure this happens and make sure these local groups have the resources they need to address cruelty. You know, I think a lot of these cats really just are needing attention at this point and love and, you know, they're acting fine so far. We've got some really good cats at this point. We'll just see how it goes through the day. We'll get him um, neutered in two weeks, give him a couple weeks to get some nutrition and um, recover from all this excitement that's going on and he'll be ready to go. Hi, sweetie. You can breathe in here and it's clean. Some of them seem to be doing really well. Some of the cats are really being friendly. There are a good number that are definitely going to be able to be placed in homes as pets. We came here to East Tennessee with an estimate of approximately 50 feral cats in a hoarding situation. Uh, all in all, by the time the day was over, we pulled out 103 cats. I feel really good that we helped them and got them out of that sad situation because it was awful in there. Excited these cats have been able to at least get a, a dose of fresh air for once, maybe in a lot of their lives never even hit clean air before. I'm hoping that, that we are going to give them all a fresh start. I really am.